Tony? Uh, Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for sending your son, Jesus, who gave his precious life for us and who uh, saved us from sin and death. Heavenly Father, granting us living hope in the kingdom of God. Thank you for your God's work in uh, Chicago and in every uh, part of the world. Mm -hmm. I may continually raise your servants to bring good news of Jesus mm -hmm. and raise the next generation uh, leaders. Mm -hmm. As we study uh, today, the Hosea, uh, open our hearts and mind to understand and to uh, really accept your word and use uh, your servant, Shepherd uh, Nehemiah, as your uh, wonderful uh, Bible uh, <clears throat> uh, study leader. Uh, thank you, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your prayer. Yeah. Uh, we will study Hosea chapter 7 and 8. What is the right Hosea or Hosea? Mm. Hosea. 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 Mm. Yeah, Hosea. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, chapter 1 through 3, it is the marriage of Hosea. And chapter 4 oh, sorry, through... Hosea, Hosea, Nasia. Hosea, uh, Hosea. Mm -hmm. uh, 4 through 14, the message of Hosea. Uh, last week, we studied uh, chapter 4 through 6. Today, we'll study uh, 7 and 8, uh, this part, diffuser of... Israel to repent. Yeah. Uh, there was very serious sin problem, spiritual adultery of Israel. They should repent and return to the Lord. However, they did not repent. They did not return to the Lord. So uh, they could not but be punished by God. Yeah. Uh, we can uh, know how uh, they were corrupted before the Lord, we can see, yeah. Mm. Uh, chapter seven, I long to redeem them. Yeah, God wanted to redeem uh, the Israelites somehow, but they refused. God longed to restore Ephraim, uh, northern Israel, but each time he reached out to heal them, their unrepentant sins were exposed. Yeah. Mm. The leaders practiced deceit and robbed the people. Uh, Uh, the hearts of king and people smoldered with passion like a hot oven. Uh, in the book of Hosea, uh, there are many uh, metaphors. The marriage between Hosea and Gomel is one of the metaphor and uh, yeah, picture message and real message. And there are many metaphors in a hot oven. God compared their sin as a hot oven. The hearts of king and people smoldered with passion like a hot oven. Yeah. What does it mean, the hot oven? Mm -hmm. so like hot temper. Yeah, hot temper. Hot mean desire. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zeal. 
For uh, evil, something. For evil, not mm. spiritual passion, not spiritual mm. uh, desire, but yeah, simple passion. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but hot oven is very dangerous. Uh, it is very hot. Uh, but uh, mm, if we put uh, our hands on the hot oven, yeah, it, it can be very painful. <laughs> yeah, it's very dangerous. Yeah. But it is very difficult to, to quench and uh, extinguish the uh, fire of the hot oven. Huh? Mm -hmm. If someone has a uh, lustful desire, like a hot oven, uh, is uncontrollable, I think. When the prodigal son uh, had a desire to leave his father's house and to enjoy himself, enjoy pleasure somehow, yeah, his heart was like a hot oven. Even though his father knew that, but uh, now his father could not uh, interrupt him. Yeah. yeah. When we worship God and give offering to the Lord, the altar is very hot. Yeah. I think uh, we need hotness, yeah. passion. But what kind of passion is very important? Yeah. To uh, give a sacrifice to the Lord or give our hearts to the idols or pleasure seeking. Yeah. When uh, the Israelites were full of the spiritual desire, uh, they uh, brought their animals uh, uh, willingly and uh, fired uh, to please God. It was pleasing to the Lord. However, uh, at the time, the northern Israel people uh, they smoldered with passion like a hot oven, hot oven, yeah. And verse 6 says, uh, the passions of intrigue, deceit, and lost the smolder unseen for a while. Hmm. Intrigue, deceit, lust, and drinking, uh, and enjoying uh, a lot of wickedness. Uh, they were full of the yeah, uh, simple passion in their hearts. Yeah. Then they burst into the flames of violent acts. Uh, when the uh, physical passion uh, is smoldering in their hearts, finally, uh, they cannot burst into the flame of a violent acts and a lot of disgusting things. Yeah. So Ephraim mix, uh, mixes with the uh, nations uh, Ephraim is a uh, flat love, not turned over. Yeah, it's another metaphor uh, language. Yeah, a uh, flat love, not turned over. What is the flat love? It's like a pancake, I think. In order to make the pancake deliciously, uh, what should we? do for cooking we put the gems and <laughs> and then <laughs> turn over yeah turn over so the other, other, other side candy other side yeah Jose 
How are you? Are you okay, Jose? Yeah, it's a... Uh, the flat low. Uh, do Americans like a pancake? Uh, I think it looks more like a, like more likely uh, baked loaves or uh, toast. They uh, put toast. the jam on butter uh, and, uh, and then turn over and put there too. And, uh, and then they take turns. <laughs> yeah, turns. Uh, but they uh, do not turn over. They baked the plat loaf, but they did not turn over. Why do you think they did not turn over? In order to make the delicious pancake or uh, flat loaf, they have to turn over and over, but they did not turn over. Why? Uh, when we cook the pancake, if we do not turn over, uh, Mm, it can, uh, it can be. How can I we say tada tan baked too much baked? Oh, mm. Huh? Mm. Burned. Burned, burned. Mm. Huh? Yeah. When we uh cook the bacon, we have to turn turn over and mm. all kinds of <laughs> beef and mm. <laughs> turn over, but uh. If we put uh, the meat or yeah flour, uh, not tom number, it some problem. It's half done, so half done. Yeah, half done, half done. Yeah. Not either, but... mm. When we put the uh, uh, meat or flour in the you know, fry pan, we forget. Then we cannot put abandon. <laughs> we cannot eat. <laughs> yeah. The other side is not baked, but they did not turn over. Uh, it means the double-minded, double-minded. Mm -hmm. The one side, the other side should be same, but mm -hmm. one side is too much uh, baked and one side is uh, raw, it's not baked. It's uh, different, quite different. Likewise. Uh, not completely. Uh... Uh, God centered, mm. not ready to be accepted by God. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Half them, half Christian. Half Christian, mm. nominal Christian. Mm. Yeah. The Northern Israel people, uh, they had their own uh, temple, but they mixed uh, pagan culture and pagan idolatry. So uh, they were uh, flat loaf. Literally, they uh, worship them. Mm, ritual. But, mm, but they really didn't worship. Mm. They worship God. Yeah. Except A half baked the cake. Mm -hmm. In that day, uh, bread was cooked on both sides like a pancake. Mm -hmm. They served both the Lord and idols mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Israel was like an unturned pancake, mm -hmm. unturned, mm -hmm. burned on one side, uncooked on the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you think to uh, uh, turn over? Uh, the inside should be. Uh, Baked inside huh? deeply, but uh, if we uh, <clears throat> do not turn over uh, our hearts, uh, yeah, we cannot give our hearts to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Unturned pancake, yeah. Mm. They're very lazy, and 
yeah, hypocritical and double-minded. Mm. Uh, so Jesus rebuked uh, religious readers many times. You are hypocrites, double-minded. Uh, it's uh, uncovered, uh, uh, flat loaf. Uh, yeah. Some religious readers, uh, they look like a sincere Christian, but inwardly, they do not repent. They uh, do not give their hearts to the Lord. Then uh, they cannot but be a flat loaf. Uh, so it's a hard uh, uh, and arrogant is a problem. Uh, so I think that uh, all of us should uh depend our sins and turn over again and again yeah and uh verse nine verse nine uh mission joseph song uh would you read the verse nine yes hmm. seven nine okay uh foreigners are sad yeah. the sin. But he does not realize it. Mm. Is my audio okay? Yeah. Okay, I'll repeat. Uh, foreigners have his strength, mm. but he does not realize it. Mm. His hair is uh, sprinkled with gray, but he does not notice. Mm. Yeah. Israel was being ravaged by sin, but did not know it due to their pride and Blind ignorance. Uh, they did not return to the Lord. Yeah. What is the sap? Foreigners the sap his strength. Devour? Took all the tribute. Mm. Texas. Yeah. Israel should uh, keep their purity as a uh, priestly nation and holy people, but uh, they did not keep their uh, spiritual heart. Yeah. They were ravaged by sin, uh, but they did not know what, what, what was the problem. Yeah. The spiritual ignorance. Blind ignorance is a very big problem. Yeah. And they did not return to the Lord. At the time, many religious readers and priests uh, came over to southern Judah because uh, the priests had been persecuted. So there was no proper to uh, let the people know what their problem was. Yeah, only a few, uh, like Hosea, uh, they uh, uh, proclaimed the message of God, and they uh, were full of uh, pride and blind ignorance and sinful nature. It's a problem. Uh, someone should uh, preach the word of God. Uh, as we studied in Eskiel, God told Eskiel to preach the word of God. Uh, whatever they, their, uh, <clears throat> there was response. Uh, whether they listened to it or not, uh, yeah, the servants of God should proclaim the word of God. Uh, but for a long time, uh, northern Israel was full of uh, sins, so they did not uh, know. They did not know turn over. Uh, according to verse eleven, uh, yeah, Ephraim is like a dove, uh, easily. Deceived and senseless. Now calling to Egypt to not return to uh, Assyria. 
Yeah. Uh, no, oh, I'm sorry, not not returning, but now now turning to Assyria, now calling to Egypt, uh, now turning to Assyria. Sometimes they uh, want to be friendly with Egypt, and now, uh, yeah, they will turn to Assyria, the super foundations. Mm. Israel was like a bird flattering a lot. They escaped God by running to other nations. Yeah, yeah it's easy uh, for Israel to make a diplomatic relationship with the super foundations for survival. They thought that, oh, it's a uh, uh, wisdom. You know, there are uh, conflicts between super foundations. Yeah. In the past, Egypt was powerful, but Egypt was losing and Assyria was emerging population. So uh, the political leaders of Northern Israel, they approached to uh, Egypt and now to uh, Assyria. However, they did not seek for God's help. They were like senseless dove, senseless dove. Do you know the character of dove? What is the character of dove? What is the strong point of dove? Do you know that? If uh, a dove marriage, uh, marries, yeah, they oh. keep eternally, oh. not divorce, not change the partner. <clears throat> but senseless dove, what what is senseless dove? They married to anybody? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sensitive stuff. Maybe the dove represents uh, pure, pure purity. Pure purity, yeah. Purity. Yeah. But maybe sensitive stuff is uh, maybe lacking wisdom. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Only to pure, only pure. Mm. Just remind me, God was the pure like dove, mm. but wise like serpent. Yeah. <laughs> Israel oh. uh, should be pure uh, spiritual bride to <laughs> the Lord, who is the bridegroom. Yeah, in the chapter uh, nineteen of Exodus. God made the spiritual wedding ceremony in the Mount Sinai. Yeah. Uh, and um, God told them to build a very wonderful uh, chamber. It is the tabernacle. Tabernacle. Yeah. God wanted to uh, dwell with Israel forever. God so loved them, always uh, not double-minded, only straight and single mind. Yeah. However, uh, his partner Israel uh, turned to uh, Egypt, Assyria, Babylonia, Persia, like the super foundations, and many kinds of idols. As we studied the Nisqil, uh, in the temple of Jerusalem, uh, the priestess draw many pictures, insect, animals. It is related to the uh, idols of Egypt. Yeah. It means that they missed the idols in Egypt. Yeah. Even though they had been 
redeemed from Egypt, but inwardly, they uh, envy the power of Egypt. They want to be helped by Egypt. And now, Egypt is losing, uh, the influence of Egypt is decreasing, and Assyria is more powerful and powerful, so they want to be friendly with Assyria. So it's like a, a senseless dog, senseless dog. How can we say the Paramdungi in, in, in English? I like that, senseless dog anyway, <laughs> senseless <laughs> dog. <laughs> yeah. God was so angry about them. Yeah. You know, uh, Hosea uh, had kept uh, straight love toward this wife, but his wife, Komil, yeah, like a prostitute, uh, she ran away many times. Yeah? It's related to senseless stuff, senseless stuff. How painful uh, Hosea was. Hmm? Verse 10 says, uh, He does not return to the Lord. His God were searching for him. Yeah, Israel's arrogance testifies against him. But despite all this, he does not return to the Lord, his God, or search for him. Wow. Easily deceived and senseless, now calling to Egypt, now turning to Assyria. Uh, calculating, they are so many. They are very calculating and, yeah. So, when they go, I will throw my net over them. Verse 12 says, when they go to the foreign superpower nations, the Lord would throw his net over them. I will put them down like the birds in the sky when I hear them uh, flocking together, I will catch them. Wow, what does it mean? I will throw my net over them. God will bother. Uh, even though they uh, fly to the uh, foreign countries, God will throw his net over them. So they cannot succeed in yeah, uh, making diplomatic relationship. How foolish they are. I will spread my net on them. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, in um, Luke's Gospel, chapter 15, uh, even though uh, the prodigal son uh, went away, uh, God threw the net so he could not uh, uh, succeed. Yeah? He became beggar. Yeah. yeah. I think that to throw his net over them is a kind of love of God. If there is no net, if they succeed in making a political and diplomatic relationship with the foreign countries, they will go further. Yeah. But because uh, uh, God throw his net over them, 
they cannot but fail, finally they will return to the Lord. Yeah. So, uh, God's net, God's net is the expression of God's love, I think. What do you think about that? When they go, I will throw my net over them. I will put them, pull them down like the birds in the sky. Pull them down. And I will catch them. Uh, Mission Face Joy, can you say uh, about, uh, would you give us comment about God's uh, throwing his net over sinners? So, I could see God's unceasing, unceasing and unfailing love for Israel, unsighted mm -hmm. love for Israel. Yeah. Even though uh, the dear his dear spouse betrayed them and uh, running into other other spouse other spouse mm. other friends mm. act, of, act of adultery but mm. uh, he knows that uh, this their uh, way of adultery is just mm. a way of destruction he knows mm. they are going into their own destruction. Mm. And out of his uh, really deep love and mm. unchanging love, he mm. wanted to save them from being destroyed. Mm. So God, I could see God's deep inside the love, mm. really to protect them, like that, like uh, parents when their children mm. run into very dangerous behavior, mm. either drugs or some other things. Parents do uh, their best to mm. catch them. Mm. They can they really try to stop them and try to catch them from mm. going further, doing all kinds of evil things. Likewise, mm. God knew their mm. destiny and tried to stop it. Mm. So I could see God's unfeeling love, mm. deep love. At the yeah. same time, God is a God of jealousy too. Mm. God could not bear his spouse. Mm. Training <laughs> mm. by any means, try to catch. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Throwing his net and catch them. Fundamental God uh, does not want to lose his people. So somehow, even using the net, catch them. Uh, Korean director Shepherd Moses Kim, he uh, showed up in the Christian TV. Uh, interview, uh, and he shared his life testimony. Uh, he wanted to leave uh, Uvep many times uh, because he felt the burden of shepherd life. But whenever he left, uh, he had uh, he suffered from backache, backache. <laughs> so. He uh, returned, and uh, uh, it's, uh, when he uh, feel better, oh, now I will go. And he left, and there is another bag. <laughs> so many times he come and go, and finally he surrendered. Oh, I should not <laughs> leave. <laughs> yeah. So I, oh, I when I uh, watch his interview. Oh, that kind of person can be the Korean director. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know his hidden history. <laughs> he wanted to leave many times. But God catched him and God uh, raised him as the uh, director of Korea UVF. Yeah. Is there, is there God, God's reluctant, God's 
uh, one side is love. Wow. Yeah, I will throw my net over them and catch them. Wow, it's wonderful, love of God. Yeah. Uh, verse 14, they did not cry out to me from their hearts, but wail on their beds. They wailed upon their beds for lamedes, but they did not seek the Lord. Wow. They did not cry out to me from their hearts, but wail on their beds. They slashed themselves, uh, appealing to their gods for grain and new wine, but uh, they turn away from me. Uh, yeah. They're wailing in the bed. They should cry out for the help of God, but in the anguish, in the suffering, they wailed upon their beds. But they did not seek for God's help. It's a problem. Even though the prodigal son, uh, he made the decision to return to the father. But uh, northern Israel, uh, they willed, but they did not want to uh, return to the Lord. They did not seek the Lord. Uh, the, their spiritual condition was very serious, very serious. They did not know what should what they should do. What is the real remedy? They did not know. Yeah. And another metaphor, uh, treacherous vow, treacherous vow. Jose, would you read verse uh, sixteen? Yes, uh, sixteen. They do not turn to the Most High. They are like a faulty bow. Their leaders will fall by the sword because of their insolent words. To this, they will be ridiculed in the land of Egypt. Hmm. Yeah. They do not turn to the Most High. They are like the faulty bow, treacherous bow. What is the treacherous and faulty bow? Not reliable. <clears throat> it's not well made. Mm. So when we meet the enemy, we have mm. to shoot. Yeah. But when we shoot with the faulty bow, mm. we cannot hit them. Mm. And we our life is uh, <clears throat> in danger, mm. being killed by them. Yeah. So, not reliable. Mm, not reliable. Mm -hmm. It does not go straight to the mm -hmm. enemy. It mm -hmm. turned to uh, themselves. Can you remember the Ahab? <laughs> Ahab, uh, he went to the battlefield. He disguised uh, not to be attacked. But uh, he was killed yeah, by the enemy's mistreated bow, like the yeah, treacherous bow. Yeah. All kind of uh, political action and strategy uh, does not succeed. Uh, treacherous bow, faulty bow, deceived bow. Uh, when we uh, disobey God, uh, God does not help us. So all kind of strategies cannot but, uh, fail. Yeah. Hosea add, adds another image of a faulty bow that want to shoot an arrow straight. Everything that comes from Israel misses the mark. Yeah, because they are like the treacherous bow. Uh, they are like the useless and dangerous weapon. Yeah. Uh, even though we uh, make use of many things, it can be pit uh, for them.
so they will be ridiculed in the land of Egypt. Yeah. In verse, uh, in uh, chapter seven, there are many uh, words of metaphor uh, to explain the spiritual condition of Northern Israel. Uh, unleavened flat loaf and senseless dove and treacherous bow and yeah, like that. How can we uh, uh, describe this generation? Uh, Mr. Joseph Song, when you read uh, first uh, Hosea chapter seven, what can remind uh, you? Oh, when I'm you help uh, young people in mm -hmm. campus, uh, what do you feel? Yeah, I like the question. How do you describe this generation? Mm. Mm. So recently, I shared uh, my students. Um, he used to stay late mm. and get up late. So sometimes he missed Bible study. <laughs> mm. So I asked him, why you stay late? And he said, mm. uh, uh, three things. One is uh, stress. Mm. Second, uh, distraction from uh, social media. Oh. Number third, um, I can remember something about his habit. Mm. And nowadays also I see um, some students I, whom I study Bible, uh, they are very much distracted by YouTube and mm. social media as well. Mm. So people are seeking some instant gratification, mm. some very instant uh, pleasure. Mm. Mm. Uh, they get bored easily get bored by something mm. more extreme pleasure more and more something mm. uh, easily distracted e instantly dis uh, mm. seeking something so mm. uh, probably uh, social media or some influence of this world Mm. Probably get in and people grow up in that environment. Mm. Even I also sense nowadays uh, something uh, also exposed to me, then I sense, oh, I have to stop. Mm. I have to turn away. I have to repent. Mm. So some something about do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. I, I will read I will read you. Yeah. <laughs> there are so many channels. Huh? Uh, in the past, uh I remember that in the uh, my childhood there's no TV set in my house. So uh in order to watch the wrestling wrestling game, I uh, go to my friends reach uh friend's house <laughs> but nowadays uh we can see too many things uh, in the smartphone so many things too too many things so young people cannot sleep they are uh lying in the bed uh, at midnight Many of the young people do not have breakfast. 
because they do not get up early in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, I went uh, fishing mm. and uh, very good looking to students. Mm. Uh, I don't know if it's man or woman, but it looks <laughs> like a man, but also looks like a woman. Uh, uh, and uh, so I asked, what is your name? Mm. Uh, Casey and another his friend name. Two of them looks like a girl and also looks like man. Mm. So what, what is your name, Erin? Oh. Um, but you know, one person's name is my name, she slash he. Mm. So <laughs> you know, <laughs> now it's uh, gender, <laughs> mm. you know, uh, they, whatever they want, change their gender. But um, very, um, very good looking and, you know, yeah. so I said, uh, you guys are really uh, wonderful looking. And anyway, mm. I took invited, but one person said, uh, I'm not very religious and so mm. on. And finally, you know, he decided not to, but so I really like uh, the generation changed. Mm. Just, uh, I think I I'm sure they are gay, uh, mm. but it's like girlfriend, boyfriend, but both of them are like men, but mm. I this kind of, you know, hair is long and has a necklace and looks, whether it's man or a woman, very, you know, very handsome, mm. very good looking young yeah. students. Mm. <laughs> so I was really surprised many, and, you know, it's in the, you know, all the time we didn't see those things, but it's openly, it's mm. so my name is she slash he. Mm. Um, <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, time changes. Mm. Wow. Uh, how can we help? Uh, oh, anyway, it's like a uh, hot oven. Mm. Uh, you know, those things describe uh, a proud, you know, proud. Mm. God is our creator and mm. our king, but, mm. you know, people are very proud mm. and act very proudly before mm. God, mm. not acknowledge him as a, uh, our king, our object worship, or mm. our, our ruler, uh, then, uh, really, you know, God's heart mm. uh, cannot bless, <laughs> cannot mm. uh, bless them. Mm. Um, it's a, a landlord when you know this year early this year one landlord was very very proud mm. acting like she's uh she's uh, above me and just got this just uh, commanding what to do and what mm. to fix and so on but immediately i i decide in my heart I'm go I'm I'm not let this uh, tenant mm. to stay, <laughs> even mm. though I didn't say. But anyway, I mean it is uh, like uh, when we are uh, we don't keep the order, mm. creation order. Mm. Uh, you know, it's there's no blessing. God mm. cannot bless. Mm. So humble heart mm. and uh, acknowledge God. Like a turnover, you know, we have our own mm. uh, thinking or what our, our own uh, desire or what, but we have to turn over mm. for God, uh, what is right for mm. our people, God. So mm. we have to uh, turn ourselves over mm. what is right mm. rather than stubbornly only one side. Mm. 
mm. <laughs> in our simple, you know, way. Mm. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. They seem uh, to be hopeless uh, people, but according to verse 12, B says, I will catch them. Uh, God does not give up. Uh, God wants to catch them somehow by throwing his net over them. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, God's heart. So uh, I think that we cannot lose the young generation. We should catch them. Uh, even though there can be conflict. Yeah. I shared many uh, parents who are struggling uh, with their children. Yeah. Uh, the JBF, especially JBF members. Uh, and yeah, somehow they want to catch, yeah, catch them. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Elizabeth, how do you catch your sons? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I mean, so I. I try not to force them too much because uh, mm. the Americans, mm. I mean, because I was influenced by American husband. So mm. he, he was uh, kind of hurt by <laughs> pushing, uh. pushing, pushing. <laughs> so <laughs> I try not to <laughs> like uh, be, you know, like that. Uh. So I'm a little bit careful, but at the same time, I worried about them because they were exposed to like in the world and influence mm. social media and all the time. Mm. So, so I encourage them to, you know, read a daily bread and have a time in the morning. And they said, uh, I mean, I did. <laughs> so, so, and I mean, all I can do is just encouraging them and, and praying for them. <laughs> yeah. And, and then they open like uh, today, my like uh, first uh, son Noah, he said, uh, uh, in in some you know some conversation, he said, uh, oh the parents should show example, <laughs> like uh, action speaks louder than like a uh, saying. So I think that's also my philosophy too. Like mm. I should show example. Mm. So, yeah. I think they are very watching, <laughs> like mm. uh, very critical. Mm. So if they can catch some mistake from us, mm. they can be very hard on us and make excuses. <laughs> mm. So I should be alert and <laughs> try to show good examples. Mm. So that's how I, I have to struggle and I have to pray for them. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's how Last week, Noah delivered the Sunday message. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a Thessalonian. It's a difficult passage, but yeah. he delivered the message. Yeah. Oh, oh. wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I believe God really gave him talent, uh. but a gift. But uh. I think at the same time, I think Satan will really <laughs> try mm. to also catch him. Mm. <laughs> so. I told him you should be really alert and then mm. yeah, be careful. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, I think uh, we should be always watchful, I think. Mm. Yeah. Uh, pagan woman can catch our children, so we have to watch over her. <laughs> yeah. And I think that we uh, should believe that God will catch and take over our children when we pray honestly. We cannot follow uh, our children. We cannot be heli mom. Do you know heli mom? Helicopter mom? Huh? Uh, go around the children. Many Korean uh, parents, parents, <laughs> heli mom. <laughs> but 
uh, we cannot do that. Yeah. Fundamentally, God will catch them. God will bring them uh, up. Yeah. Uh, trusting God and interest. Uh, uh, the Lord with our children. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, chapter 8. Yeah, so the wind lift the uh, her wind, the eager hovering over the house of the Lord represents uh, Assyria, the instrument of God's judgment on the kingdom of Ephraim. Yeah. Mm. God uh, would use uh, Assyria to punish uh, northern Israel. The first king of northern Israel, Jeroboam, had set up two calf idols, uh, one thing in Dan, one thing in Beder, uh, northern part in Dan, southern part is Beder. He put the idols. It was the repeat of the scene of the Israelites when they set up the golden calf at Mount Sinai. Yeah, the scene is uh, repeated. History repeats itself. So, uh, simple history repeats itself. Even though at the time uh, Moses was there, they worshipped the golden calf idols. Yeah. Since Jeroboam's time, Israel had gone through one king after the another, not seeking God's blessing. Yeah. And Israel will cry to me, my God, we know you, but they, their cry is not sincere because Israel has rejected the good. They set up rulers against the Lord and were steeped in idolatry. Yeah. They pretended to be godly, but uh, they did not seek for goodness. Uh, it's like uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 22 and 23. Jesus said, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you depart from me. You who practice lawlessness. Yeah. The northern uh, Israel people rejected the good. Yeah. They fell into idolatry and practically they uh, kept sinning uh, economically, politically, and ethically. Yeah. God would finally put an end to their idolatry himself by sending the Assyrians, yeah. The political leaders of Northern Israel uh, wanted to have a diplomatic relationship with Assyria, but it was foolish. Uh, God would send Assyria, and Assyria was very cruel. Uh, and fundamentally, uh, Northern Israel had been uh, destroyed by Assyria. Yeah. Oh. The calf of Samaria shall be broken into pieces. They worshipped, they liked the uh, idols, but the idols will be broken to pieces. Yeah. They saw the wind and leap the hot wind. Yeah. What does it mean, the wind? So. Meaninglessness. If we uh, saw, plant the uh, meaning, meaninglessness, uh, yeah, we cannot leave anything. The judgment that they would receive is worse than the sin they committed. Yeah. Living for simple desires is like a sowing the wind, throwing. Uh, away all our God-given gifts and potential, then when the whole wind of life strikes, uh, we have no foundation to stand on. 
Ephraim had sought the wind by giving herself to idolatry and to foreign powers. Uh, the land will be banished and barren and desolate. Yeah. Nowadays, the big typhoon is coming to Korea, so we are very a lot. Uh, yeah. When the typhoon blows, uh, yeah, houses and a lot of things can be broken. Yeah. Uh, because uh, they saw the wind, they uh, would reap the whirlwind and God's uh, punishment. Now they are among the Gentiles. Now I will gather them. God promised that Israel would face the conquering Assyrians and exile, but also that he would one day gather them again. Wow. According to verse 11, they have become for him altars for sinning. Israel foolishly built many altars for sin. The altars became altars for sinning. Yeah. Verse uh, 12 says, I have written for him the great things of my law, but uh, they were considered the stranger thing. Uh, in their sin and idolatry, Israel also rejected the word of God. God had great things for Israel, but they seemed like a stranger thing because their hearts were far from the Lord. Yeah. But fundamentally, God uh, does not uh, God uh, does not want to abandon them. Verse fourteen says, "For Israel has forgotten his Maker, and has built temples. Judah also uh, has multiplied the fortified the cities, but I will send the fire upon his cities, and he shall devour." Uh, his uh, palaces. Yeah. Hmm. While Israel practiced uh, outright idolatry, Judah was guilty of a more subtle sin. They trusted in the fortified city they built against the Assyrians. Uh, those cities would be of no help. I will set fire upon his cities. Yeah. And the only the Lord would preserve Judah from total destruction. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 17. When Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, uh, when uh, Jerusalem had been besieged by Assyria, God sent the fire. God sent the angel. So God uh, killed 180, uh, 500,000 uh, people, Assyrian soldiers, and God will uh, redeem his people. Yeah. So, mm, God will punish the Shepherd nations. Uh, so that they may be returned finally. So uh, even though they uh, left the Lord, uh, God uh, wanted to uh, grave, uh, engrave uh, the word of God in their hearts and uh, he wanted to help his people to return to the Lord uh, by punishing uh, uh, foreign soldiers, yeah. So, uh, in this chapter, we can realize that uh, the northern Israel was full of wickedness in their heart, uh, but mm, God. Uh, did not give up his people. Uh, somehow, 
he wanted to change their hearts to the Lord. Yeah. I think that we have to uh, learn God's heart. It's a broken heart uh, about the uh, uh, wandering uh, young people. Uh, and I think that we can find our, ourselves before the Lord. Uh, is uh, this generation's problem and our our problem as well? Uh, we have uh, similar problems in our hearts, uh, like uh, unleavened bread uh, and not turn over uh, flat loaf. Uh, and hot oven for pleasures. Yeah. Even me, I cannot but uh, find out myself sometimes. So I have to return to the Lord and repent my sins. Uh, otherwise, uh, I cannot but be like the uh, Northern Israel. Yeah. Double minded, hypocritical uh, servant of God. Yeah, so um, we have to reflect ourselves before the Lord honestly, and uh, you, uh, you was you were about to ask questions. How do you help these young people in our generation? Mm. So. I think we skipped that question. Mm. To me, when I think about the question, uh, so I I think about um, uh, two things: um, mm. whether I can fill my heart with uh, the flesh desire or the uh, spiritual desire. Mm. So I'll. That's why I ask the students to keep the Bible study. Mm. Uh, I cannot stop them what they want to see, what mm. they desire. Mm. But my job is to feed them with the God's word. Mm. So come to Bible study. So we study God's word. Mm. And someday, um, their spiritual desire overpower their physical desire or mm. some personal uh, passion for the flesh. Mm. The last word uh, somehow um, take control of their hearts. Mm. Uh, so I, I encourage my students to come to Bible study and mm. two students are faithfully studying. Mm. Canadian? Students, Canadians? Uh, yes. Mm. One student uh, on and off. Mm. And the other student, he, he worked full time, so he wants to keep Bible study. I mm. see his heart. Mm. So he's managing Bible study on top of his jobs. Mm. Uh, and my children, and so they are not really willing at this moment. Mm. I really uh, beg them, let's do Bible study this way. Mm. <laughs> they graciously say, answer, yes, then, okay, I'm so happy <laughs> to have Bible study. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, mm. how to help uh, mm. uh, this generation. Okay, thank you. Long pa patience, I think, endurance and wait long and uh, provide necessary things continually. Uh, then um, someday uh, the word of God can touch their hearts and move their hearts. In the ultimate situation, uh, they cannot but cry out. Uh, when they face disaster, disease, or bankrupt or uh, many kinds of problems, they uh, can wail. Until the time, I think we have to wait and pray, pray. Uh, 
Um, fundamentally, we cannot uh, lose uh, lose them. Uh, Jose, uh, what 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 did you uh, learn from today's passage? Yeah, I think it was a, like uh, how the, the Israel was away from God mm. and like to find myself uh, wandering away from God. So how do I revere God and come back to to God mm. on a daily basis? Um, and then, uh, yeah, not being, uh, being faithful to God is mm. what I seek here. So, so, mm. yeah, so I want to reflect in, in my faith. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Johnny, how do you help young people in Springfield uh, in order that they may have a spiritual desire and come to the uh, Bible study? <clears throat> I've seen two kind of people. <clears throat> mm. We have uh, two graduate uh, Bible student, mm. and one uh, my grandson. <clears throat> mm. and one time I went to their home for babysitting, mm. and they are watching the game, mm. and I saw the people's expression, the image, mm. the cloth, mm. the color brightness, mm. really uh, drew all their attention. Mm. One, when we begin to watch, we, they cannot stop watching mm. many hours. Mm. So I found that even to uh, make money, <laughs> they do oh, my, that kind of all understand the all human desires mm. and uh, uh, passion. Mm. So I realized that we should be better than them. <laughs> mm. Still, I I know we cannot reach like that, uh, but uh, and I saw one day. Uh, and visited with the, uh, John uh, Jr. to for the first time to ISU. Mm. There was nobody, <laughs> nobody waiting, mm. and uh, but he really was enthusiastic. Yes. Mm. Put the uh, what is that the picture uh, board mm. and. And whoever passes by, let them uh, sign there mm. and uh, uh, took a picture mm. <laughs> with the uh, uh, some what kokal uh, uh. <laughs> crown. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's like a, uh, I uh, but where they what, what from where is coming? Hmm? Mm. Looks like. Uh, they are all his sheep, I like that. Mm. So uh, it's uh, when we feed the sheep, we have to understand. Mm. It, but the response was so wonderful. Mm. Mm. Uh, many people came and took a picture and signed mm. there, mm. register. Mm. Mm. So I think we have to, uh, under to understand the modern people. Mm. College students uh, have to uh, understand and their desires mm. and take advantage of that mm. uh, uh, desire mm. to grow them to mm. Jesus. Mm. So when they met this their desires and uh, mm. our uh, uh, response to them, mm. they meet then great work of God. Uh, can happen. Mm. So uh, I, uh, I pray that mm. uh, we can uh, 
somehow through all our effort mm. uh, should be made to draw mm. them to Jesus until mm. they find the true uh, mm. uh, object of worship, mm. which can fill all their desires, simple desires, mm. Mm. and overpower their desires. Mm. Mm. This is what I learned today. Yeah. And also another one is uh, the painful uh, and God's love, mm. and steady first love. Mm. Uh, yeah. The other Bible, oh. uh, it's, it said uh, mm. God uh, stops mm. people mm. Uh, through thorn bushes and uh, mm. thorns and uh, thistles. Mm. Uh, I have a personal experience about that. And I'm praying for one person. Uh, he sinned and uh, God and turned away from God. Mm. And he had a big accident, almost lost life. Oh. He's not fully uh, returned. His heart is not returned to God. And he's uh, suffering from mm. post-traumatic syndrome. Mm. And he wants to open the business, but mm. uh, whatever he does, it doesn't succeed. Mm. Uh, so I'm praying somehow mm. this Jesus love may be mm. transmitted to him mm. and have an opportunity to turn to Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Richard Choi, uh, can you say any comment? For us, um, I was moved by the uh, praise. Mm. I will catch them. Mm. Mm. Uh, has a determination to uh, gather yeah. them mm. and uh, restore them. Mm. Uh, so it is uh, predestination, mm. determination. Mm. Uh, his remnants uh, will be uh, called upon mm. and be uh, gathered. So uh, uh, I should not uh, give up mm. on uh, my children or uh, growing uh, young people mm. uh, uh, because uh, God will catch them. Not mm. Richard will catch them. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes with uh, uh, necessary training, mm. uh, God will catch them mm. to come back to him. So what I uh, should do is mm. uh, uh, wait uh, in prayer and uh, teach them the uh, word of God mm. uh, in season, in Arab uh, season. Mm. That's what I learned. Mm. And especially our children, uh, I learned that uh, encountering God personally mm. uh, should be a uh, focus. Mm. They have to be born again mm. uh, by meeting uh, Jesus personally. So as a church or well, parents, I believe that we must do all our uh, effort, mm. prayer, Bible study, mm. that individual, my child, my sheep may mm. be born again mm. uh, through the work of the Holy Spirit uh, based on the word of God. So yes. teach word of God without uh, uh, despair. Mm. <laughs> That's what I learned. Yeah. Have the determination to catch them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now this, I think that uh, according to um, chapter seven, verse four says, uh, they are all adulterous, burning like an oven. Young people have a burning desire. Burning desire. Uh, yeah, seemingly they are full of physical burning desire, but uh, fundamentally we are 
created as a spiritual being when we ignite uh, the spirituality within them, uh, uh, their hearts can uh, burning for uh, spiritual desire. Uh, as we studied uh, Chronicle, First Chronicle, chapter eight, Solomon uh, dedicated himself. Uh, he gave all things uh, at the time. Uh, all the people gathered together and they praised the Lord and gave thanks to the Lord and they willingly uh, gave uh, animals and all, all kinds of offerings uh, joyfully. Yeah. And in the temple, they uh, gave the burnt offering to the Lord. At the time, God dwelled and they were uh, full of joy. But Northern Israel, the ancestor uh, of Northern Israel is Jeroboam. He started with idolatry, with golden carp uh, idolatry. So their sins accumulated more and more. So uh, it's totally corrupt. So fundamentally, the leader is very important. How uh, does a leader do? Then the people cannot but follow. So, um, I feel that I'm, I'm responsible for my community. Uh, so, I have to ignite uh, burning desire in the young people. Uh, then someone follow uh, and they can make a spiritual community. Uh, so, in Korea, from... December, uh, from September, the fourth semester uh, has begun. So, yeah, many students uh, return to campus. Uh, so we want to have a, st a student meeting. After worship service, uh, we ask the students uh, mm, stay in church and write testimony and share. And from uh, last week, we had a sister uh, meetings, uh, testimony writing meeting, and about 10 members uh, gathered and they uh, had a good time. From this week, we will have the uh, male students, uh, boy students uh, may stay and write uh, reflection. And after that, go to the soccer uh, fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> with giving delicious food <laughs> yeah they are burning desire for soccer <laughs> it's good but yeah uh, if we ignite burning desire in their hearts and uh, they can yeah, gather they can gather and they can be moved and yeah, influenced uh, so it's very necessary for uh, the leaders to make the environment to, to ignite the burning desire in their hearts. Then uh, someday they can feel uh, and uh, follow. And, and then they can make a great power uh, because they are very energetic fundamentally. So... I think that we need uh, much prayer for leadership to ignite the spiritual burning desire. Uh, and each family, if we uh, uh, help our uh, second genes with Bible study and prayer, uh, they can uh, have a burning desire uh, to love God and to serve God. Yeah. In the Facebook, I saw many uh club exhibition in each campus is for uh fourth semester yeah inviting uh club meeting it's a good example yeah i saw i i have been so moved by our shepherds 
working very hard. Yeah. Regardless of age, uh, they come and they uh, make the pancake <laughs> in the desk. And uh, yeah, it's a good things, good things. Good sign. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other comment? These days, I saw uh, several uh, young people, mm. even among our uh, members. Um, suffering from depression. Oh. Uh, in the past, like uh, 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 Corona, or uh, all the people usually uh, experience uh, depression. But these mm. days, mm. the age is getting younger and younger mm. uh, when suffering starts in their life. Mm. So, um really uh big homework uh we have to uh, figure it out why and mm. uh pray for our young people mm. to come out of their depression mm. and give their hearts to god and a noble uh, task mm. uh, with a noble uh, desire and spiritual ambition Mm. That you are, uh, uh, see these days. Mm. Yeah. Many people uh, are suffering from many kinds of problems. So mm. it can be the you know, opportunity for them to return to the Lord. So if we try and uh, give hearts to help them, they can uh, come to the Lord. Yeah, do the Bible study. Okay, thank you all of you. Yeah, uh, Mission Face Choi, would you uh, pray for us? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the who is our uh, Savior and Light of the World. Mm. I thank you for the wonderful Bible study from Hosea chapter seven and eight. Mm. We learned. A deep love of God, mm. even though his own people betrayed him, rebelled against him, and mm. turned their back against God, and really running into many idolatry and mm. foreign, uh, strong foreign nations, mm. God never uh, gave them up. God was determined to catch them mm. under his net so that they may really repent, mm. come back to their senses, and come back to their source of life mm. and source of blessing, their own maker, the most. Mm. I thank God for his unchanging, unfailing love for his people and mm. also for us. Mm. Uh, we are weak. We make many mistakes, but our mm. God is constantly loving us so mm. we put our hope in you mm. lord there are many young people who are like a hot oven mm. there's a many passion and zeal mm. but they are running into the world to satisfy their simple nature desires mm. and they get lost please help us to have a spiritual vision and wisdom and mm. especially the words of God, so that we can we can ignite mm. these young people to mm. have honest desire to come back to their God. Mm. Lord, please raise up many uh, Bible teachers, spiritual mm. leaders mm. who can ignite the young people, mm. who can ignite the uh, burning desire of mm. uh, the hearts of young people mm. in our communities. Mm. And um, you may revive our horse master ministry, uh, mm. first of all, through our deep uh, repentance and mm. uh, really commitment to you. Mm. Heavenly Father, I thank you for uh, Pastor Nehemiah Kim and his wonderful 
fibrillation and everything. You may continuously be with him. And uh, bless his uh, really prayer to ignite mm. uh, the leaders so they could make a spiritual environment where many young people come and learn the Bible. Mm. Also, you may be with Vishnar uh, Rebecca Isakim and bless their fourth semester ministry mm. at Akron, mm. fill their Bible house with many young st Bible students. Mm. Also, Thank you for uh, Dr. John Kevin Lee, mm -hmm. who really sacrificially, exemplarily mm -hmm. served uh, mm -hmm. the young people uh, at the University of uh, Illinois at Springfield and ISU. Mm -hmm. You may use him very preciously mm -hmm. as a good shepherd for many yeah. uh, wandering students. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I pray for this Elizabeth, Michelle Elizabeth, mm. you may continue to use her as a wonderful prayer mother mm. and a Bible teacher for the Minnesota ministry. Mm. Also, you may uh, be with uh, Missionary Joseph Song. Mm. Thank you for his vision for young people, how to mm. raise them up. You may continue to use him mm. as a wonderful shepherd mm. and the Bible teacher for his two sheep and more, many more sheep in the future mm -hmm. to give him wisdom how to help his own children give the same uh, grace to us i thank you for uh, shepherd general jose mm -hmm. his face to the bible study mm -hmm. you may grow him as a spiritual warrior mm -hmm. he is uh, really mm -hmm. adulterous sinful generation heavenly mm -hmm. father use him uh, preciously uh, for your uh, namesake and gospels Mm -hmm. Also, you may be with my family and mm -hmm. help us to really have a shepherd heart for the UIC students, mm -hmm. especially our junior leaders at the UIC, mm -hmm. and pray for them. And uh, really, we may, even though we are old, we may uh, be used by you in igniting their uh, zeal for the mm -hmm. young people. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this wonderful time of prayer. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Wow, so our much. hearts are igniting. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, see you next week. Thank you so much.